Hey, Gavin here. Uh, today I'm going to be testing the burn rate of potassium nitrate mixed with sugar. And um, for the experiment today, we are going to be using just regular old table salt as a catalyst. And um, our control group is going to start with just potassium nitrate and sugar and no catalyst whatsoever. And as we go on throughout the, uh, throughout the tests, we will increase the amount of salt added to each group. Okay, so our hypothesis is that the one with a half a teaspoon of salt is going to burn the fastest because that seems like a reasonable amount and I feel like the more salt you add after that, it's just gonna start diluting the, the substance. So I'm gonna stick with my hypothesis of half a teaspoon. Without control, mix one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're gonna start with our control right here and we have a fire extinguisher on standby just in case. I'm gonna set this down a bit away from the experiment so that if it does go badly, we have that nearby. So, I'm just gonna wanna pour out all of your stuff onto, what we're using here is aluminum foil so that it doesn't burn my driveway. And I'm gonna time this with a stopwatch so that we know how long it takes. Okay, so I'm gonna start lighting this and as soon as I see the first spark, on the material, I'm going to press the start on here. So, the timer. Was that control, Gavin? Yes, this is control, no salt. And it's obviously burning very not clean with all the gas. And also all the, <laughs> all the carbon. Two. This is mix number two with um, a half of a teaspoon of salt. And here we go. All right, this is uh, group three now. Going a bit slower. I'm not really sure about that. This is a uh, group four. Hold your seconds. Okay, so this is mix five. Our lighter ran out. Here we go. It's a very slow reaction. See it bubbling up. Back up a bit. Here's the timer. And it's flaming down, so stop at about 11 seconds. So this was a bit shorter of a burn, but um, I think that's because it's uh, not burning very cleanly. Uh, everything's melting down into a big sludge of just, uh, I think that's salt right there. And then this is just the carbon. There's a lot of that left over from the recent experiments. You could, you could say that... Uh, the catalyst is diluting the solution and making yeah. it slower. And now it seems to be going faster, but I think that's just because it's so dilute. At this point, it's just melting itself. Okay, so this is group six out of seven. Probably going to be a bit slower of a burn than last time. Not sure yet, but it looks like it is. Last one was about 11 seconds. Right there. 16 seconds. Yeah, it's definitely getting slower here. Our final test, test number 7, or if you include the control group, test number 8, but it's mix 7. And um, I'm assuming it's going to go quite a bit slower than the last one. Really slow. It's, uh, oh, see, if you could see there, it's getting a bit molten. Yeah, it's bubbling up. Yeah. It's all the salt in there. It's probably causing that. Yeah, it's going to be a very long reaction. It's going to be a very long reaction. Um, it's a fairly clean. It's no, releasing no. quite a bit of gas. Yeah, but it's not, not, not a clean right at all. I mean, even though salt is bubbling up. <coughs> Alright, stand back in it. Yeah. This okay. is a 30 second burn, so. 
our our stats our, our data was indicating a bell curve, but it's not anymore. It's actually really interesting. Seems almost exponential. Yeah, we'll have to analyze our, analyze our data. So that was almost uh, yeah, forty five seconds. You can see that's all bubbling up. And now. that's all molten. That's not even. Yeah, it didn't that's, even react that's molten aluminum and salt and potassium nitrate. So that's really interesting. All right, we'll get back to you with the results. Okay, it's the next morning, and I just wanted to uh, explain what that was on the seventh test there. I'm quite sure that this right here is actually potassium chloride. I'm not exactly sure yet, but um, if it is potassium chloride, then it's going to be edible. So I will try some in a later video if this does end up being potassium chloride. We have our graph here, um, and this, these are our results. Uh, Gavin made a nice table, and I turned that into a bar graph. So here is the amount of seconds. You can't really read it. My handwriting is still um, not that good. Um, this is our control mix. Um, this is mix one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So interesting, you have a bit of a bell curve shape here, and then it goes up a lot. Yeah, it, it seems almost exponential because we started increasing the amount that we were um, uh, increasing yeah. the salt by. Yeah. Because this was a, almost a full tablespoon more than this. Well, so this is one tablespoon. We're increasing my increments of 0.25. Teaspoon. Sorry, teaspoons. Uh, we increased my increments of 0.25 teaspoons, and then we started increasing my increments of um, half. Half. And then we did. And one. then we did one here. We can safely say from what we have tested, uh, mix one gives us our fastest burn well, rate. That's been all. Thanks for watching.